Hermitage, PA. Even natives of western Pennsylvania might have a hard time finding it on a map. But that hasn't stopped a legion of basketball stars from coming all the way from Africa and Europe to a tiny high school there. Kennedy Catholic has become a basketball powerhouse. The KDK investigator Andy Sheehan reports the school's success has some critics crying foul. He's the fifth-rated prospect in the country, heavily recruited by the nation's top college basketball programs, and maybe only a year or two away from the NBA. But for now, six-foot-eight Oscar Shubwe is a member of the Kennedy Catholic basketball team. We know what we're doing, right? A tiny school in Mercer County that draws players from all over the world. Are you kidding me? One of three players from Africa, Oscar is joined by another star from Salerno, Italy. And together, they routinely trounce their less talented opponents. Now, public schools, which may only enroll students who live within their boundaries, are crying foul. So we're at an inherent disadvantage. We play with community students, and we're proud to do so. But let's, let's not pretend that this team was formed for anything else other than basketball supremacy. Catholic private and charter schools are not constrained by geographic boundaries in enrolling students. And while Kennedy has always had a reputation for good teams, it became virtually invincible when it started attracting African players like Sagaba Kunate. Who is now the shot blocking king of West Virginia University's men's basketball team? It's been years since Pennsylvania schools have been able to give the Golden Eagles a game. And last year in the single A state finals for small schools, Kennedy crushed Lords by a score of 78 to 36, winning its third straight state title. And critics like Leonard Rich, the superintendent of the Laurel School District, say it's the international players are here for only one reason, to play ball. Clearly, they came to be part of an international dominant high school basketball team. I wouldn't say that. I think they're coming because of the education first. Education first and foremost. For its part, Kennedy says it doesn't recruit, that the international players come to them after discovering the school on the internet. And while basketball is an enticement, they credit the school's reputation for academic rigor, noting that other international students there excel in math and in chess. I would say that they come here because of the family environment, the tradition of excellence, no matter what your craft, the fact that we graduate 98% of our students go on to higher education college and or military. Go, Mike! No student can transfer into a school with athletic intent. And Kennedy Catholic is quick to note that each of these international students has been approved to play by the Pennsylvania Interscholastic Athletic Association's District 10, headquartered in Erie. The critics are just as quick to point out that the board chairman there, Peter Iacino, was the former chief administrator at Kennedy. And the same critics note that Oscar, like Sagabakunate, is now headed to West Virginia University. Raising the specter, the Kennedy Catholic has become a WVU pipeline. Let's go, come on, play hard, listen. But Coach Rick Mancino said the school was Oscar's choice. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night to uh, know that I force a kid to go somewhere, you know, because it's a certain life. They can do whatever they want. Still, Kennedy has heard the criticism, and this year has voluntarily agreed to compete for the state's 6A title, the division for the largest districts in the state. But if this game against Franklin Regional is any indication, that won't make much of a difference. Kennedy coasted to an 85-53 to victory over a quality basketball team from a school that is six times its size. Kennedy Catholic's going to win again this year. Are they going to win the 6A title? Uh, they could. And if they do, those flags that are red now should be bright red that how a team with such a small enrollment can bring kids from other countries that are so competitive that they can win a 6A basketball title. That just is alarming. Now, schools like Kennedy Catholic have now spawned a debate. Some public schools, which must enroll students from within their boundaries, are calling for reform. They want a separate playoff system for Catholic charter and private schools, the so-called non-boundary schools, and they're taking their case to the state legislature. 
Tomorrow night at 6 o'clock, I'll take a look at this debate. For now, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.